Hello and welcome. Wishing all our viewers happy Pongal, Sankranti and Lori. You're logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com, the only portal for people of Indian origin in Canada. We broadcast news from India, Canada, Punjab and Gujarat in English, Hindi, Punjabi and Gujarati languages and our portal and apps have a list of well-established businesses and resources that every global Indian needs. I'm Rahul Parmar and today's headlines are In India, the army has been told to keep away from Jammu and Kashmir's education system and the house of former union minister P. Chidambaram and his son have been raided. In Canada, much of Atlantic Canada has been pummeled with heavy winds and downpour and Canimed Incorporation has filed a 725 million lawsuit against Aurora Cannabis Incorporation. Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India and Canada. Get the mortgage that's best for you from Abdul Kazar, principal broker of Ingenious Mortgages. We offer first and second mortgages and refinancing. We deal with multiple lenders. We also conduct the REMIC course and exam to become a mortgage agent in just one week at our location. Call us at 416-887-9196 or log on to www.ingeniousmortgages.ca. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are Jammu and Kashmir Education Minister Syed Altaf Bukhari has said that the army should concentrate on its own job and not meddle with the state's education system. A day earlier, Indian Army Chief General Bipin Rawat had said that the state students are being taught two maps, one of India and the other of Jammu and Kashmir. The Enforcement Directorate has searched the house of former Union Minister P. Chidambaram and his son Karthi in Delhi and Chennai in connection with a money laundering case. Chidambaram has accused the ED of misusing its power at the behest of the government. Rahul Gandhi will launch the first leg of his election campaign in Karnataka from February 10th to the 12th. Chief Minister Siddharamaya claimed that there was no anti-incumbency feeling against his government and the Congress will win a comfortable majority in the assembly polls due in a few months. An Indian soldier hailing from Maharashtra has been killed in unprovoked ceasefire violation by Pakistan on the LOC in Jammu and Kashmir's Rajor district. Indian positions retaliated effectively and strongly to the unprovoked firing. Punjab Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has condemned the Akali Dal leadership for raising a hue and cry over the farm loan waiver package. He accused the SAD for pushing farmers into a vicious death trap during their rule, dismissing the demand of Rs 90,000 crore farm loan waiver package. At least four people were killed when a Pawan Hans helicopter with at least five top ONGC officials and two pilots on board crashed shortly after takeoff from Juhu Airport on Saturday. Four bodies, besides some wreckage of the crashed chopper and life jackets, have been found. Three female students have drowned after a boat with at least 34 students on board capsized off the Dahanu coast in Maharashtra's Palgar district. The students were out on an annual college picnic. A massive search operation has been launched. BSE's India International Exchange has listed Indian Railways Finance Corporation's first green bond on its global securities market. A 10-year dollar 50 million worth bonds are one of the highest credit rated bonds issued by an Indian corporate. Former Indian captain Mohammad Azharuddin is contemplating legal action against the officials for preventing him from contesting elections to Hyderabad Cricket Association. The BCCI has stated that he was free to contest the post of president of HCA. Actress Zareen Khan, who will soon be performing action stunts in her upcoming film One Day, says that she has always been a tomboy. The actress has mostly portrayed a girl next door and bold characters on screen. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as news from Canada follows. When you are buying or selling a house or a business, you need proper guidance. We at JP Mellon Law Firm have the knowledge and the expertise to help you close your transaction hassle-free. For all your real estate needs, give us a call. When you are buying or selling a house or a business, you need proper guidance. We at JP Mellon Law Firm have the knowledge and the expertise to help you close your transaction hassle-free. For all your real estate needs, give us a call. Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com. The top 10 headlines from Canada are 
Much of Atlantic Canada has been pummeled with heavy winds and a downpour, swamping some areas with extensive flooding. Two Newfoundland towns have declared state of emergency and the Trans-Canada Highway west of Hampton Junction is closed due to washout. More than 20,000 Maritimers have been without power from Saturday morning. Saskatoon-based Canimed Therapeutic Incorporation has filed a $7.25 million lawsuit against Aurora Cannabis Incorporation, alleging what it calls multiple claims of wrongdoing related to Aurora's hostile bid to acquire Canimed. It is also seeking personal damages against one current and one former member of its board for their alleged involvement in the perpetrated conspiracy. Surging water levels in the St. Francois River have washed away part of St. Lawrence and Atlantic Railway in Montreal. A railway emergency and recovery team is on site in Sherbrooke to assess damages and prepare the ground for future work. The Ontario government has launched an operation to relocate an endangered herb of caribou off the remote island on which they have been systematically hunted down by recently arrived wolves. It involves rounding up of remaining caribou off Michipicoten Island in Lake Superior and transporting them by helicopter to the nearby Slate Islands. Five more dogs have tested positive for a strain of canine influenza in southwestern Ontario, bringing the total number of infected up to seven. The Windsor Essex County Health Unit said that the two dogs that initially tested positive for H3N2 Canon flu were brought to Canada from South Korea through the US. Alberta MLA Karen McPherson, who is vacationing in Hawaii, said that the false missile alert was frightening and she might have been the most afraid she's ever been. McPherson was waiting to participate in a conference call when an alert appeared on her phone stating there was an inbound missile threat headed for Hawaii. Vulgar comments attributed to US President Donald Trump have caused outrage across Africa, calling Trump's reported remarks outrageous and hurtful. A local think tank said that his comments will further reduce the influence of US on global stage. UAE and Saudi Arabia have moved to further enhance the brotherly bilateral relations. The two sides have discussed ways to enhance existing cooperation in the security and police fields, as well as latest regional and international developments on issues of common concern. United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia have moved to further enhance the brotherly bilateral relations. The two sides have discussed ways to enhance existing cooperation in the security and police fields, as well as the latest regional and international developments and issues of common concern. The Supreme People's Court of China has placed more than 9.59 million people on a credit blacklist for defaulting by the end of 2017. The SPC has cooperated with airlines and railway companies to bar the people who have defaulted from purchasing tickets based on ID cards information and their passport. Libya's Higher Commission of Elections has announced that more than 2 million voters have registered to cast ballots in the 2018 presidential and parliamentary elections. Women participants account for 41% of the total number of registered voters till now. The polls would be held before September 30th. This is the end of the news bulletin, but stay tuned to indiantimesdaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resource section on this portal to find the best Indo-Canadian businesses and resources from accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Welcome to the Field Fresh Supermarket. One-stop shop for fresh vegetables, fruits, bakery products, Indian and Chinese grocery and much more. Visit us today at 5661 Steels Avenue East in Scarborough, major intersection Steels and Middlefield. Check out our weekly flyers. Field Fresh Supermarket. Always fresh. Actor Akshay Kumar lauded the work of Coimbatore based Arunachala Murganantham who found a way to make affordable sanitary napkins for women in his village. Now, during the song launch of the movie Padman, Kumar announced to donate rupees 5 lakh to all the inventors in that room. Akshay Kumar has said to me that he would donate 5 lakh rupees to everyone. To every single innovator. Yeah. Yeah. 
दैट्स अ ब्रेकिंग न्यूज हमारी भाषा में इसे बड़ी खबर कहते हैं और ये कोई सोर्सेस से नहीं आई है सूत्रों से नहीं आई है ये खुद अक्षय कुमार ने आपके सामने कहा है बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया वेल दिस इन डीड वॉज न्यूज मीन वाइल अक्षय कुमार इज गियरिंग अप टू फाइट विद ट्रियो रणवीर सिंह Deepika Padukone and Shahid Kapoor at the box office since Padman and Padmavat both releases on the same day. Immigration terminal the specialist for visitor visa student visa business immigration family sponsorship work permits PNP programs live in caregivers and LMIA applications highly experienced in cases involving criminal or medical admissibility and previously refused or misrepresentation cases call 416-675-5666 in Ontario or 778-927-3455 in BC email us at info@immigrationterminal.ca at immigration terminal right consultants bright future Actor Shahrukh Khan played a host to a starry night for a friend Kajol Anand's 50th birthday at his residence Manak. Celebrities like Saljid Khan, Siddharth Roy Kapoor, Randeep Hooda, Malaika Arora, Hrithik Roshan, Arjun Kapoor, Farah Khan, Karishma Kapoor, Sanjay Kapoor, Suzanne Khan, Kiran Rao, Dinu Maria, Ravina Tandon, Aditya Roy Kapoor, Ranbir Kapoor, Alia Bhatt Karina Kapoor Khan, Kunal Kapoor, Puneet Malhotra, Manish Malhotra, Amrita Rao, Neha Dupia, Priyank Sharma, Angad Bedi, Natasha Poonawala, Bobby Deol and many others marked their presence. It was indeed a star-studded birthday bash. Karol Bag Jewelers, Ghania de latest design layi pehli choice. Sone ate heere de set, chudiyan ate kade, chain, jadao set. होर भी कई गहणिया स्पेशल डिस्काउंट सब तो वीडी चॉइस बेहतरीन सर्विस और सब तो वाजिब रेटा ले आओ करोल बाग ज्वेलर्स और रूप ज्वेलर्स करोल बाग ज्वेलर्स वन जीरो नाइन एट पीटर रॉबर्टसन बुलेवार्ड ब्रैमटन रूप ज्वेलर्स फाइव जीरो थ्री रे लॉसन बुलेवार्ड ब्रैमटन